That's my dad. He's a good guy. The only thing is, is he gets bugged when Mr. Soupy won't put me in the game. That's Mr. Soupy. He's our coach. He used to play football, too. That was a long time ago. Because my dad said it must have been before football helmets were invented. You see, I don't mind playing. It's just that sometimes I get scared in front of all the people. Get in there, and be sure to send Billy out. Billy, get out of here. OK. That's Doug. He's my best friend. Mr. Soupy says someday Doug's going to play in the pros. OK? One, two, three, ready. Ready, set, go! Look, I'm not a dummy. I just forgot which way to run. That's all. The other way! Out of way, dummy! Go, baby, go! Luckily, my best friend Doug came through. Now shut up! Penny, get up here. You're the hero. You order first. This was my big chance to be cool. Yeah. Take a large suicide. A suicide is all the different flavors of slush mixed into one cup. Tastes a lot like mud. Hey, I'll come over later and we can work on the racer. All right, see ya, bye. Sometimes I do really dumb things, like ride down Johnny Hoffman Street alone. You see, Johnny Hoffman makes me pay him money every time I see him. Maybe he won't see me. Hey, where are you going? Hi, Johnny. I didn't see you. Get over here. How, how you doing, Johnny? You got some money for me? I forgot it. Well, you owe me double tomorrow. You were great in the game, Kenny. Yeah. What happened to your shirt? Johnny Hoffman shed my bike over. Oh. Why? Because I didn't have any money. Well, do you owe him some money? No. I guess I do. Well, for what? Protection. Protection money? Are you kidding? No, me and Sherman and a couple other kids have to pay him protection money. Well, what's he protecting you from? 
I don't know. This is ridiculous. Now, you've got to learn. This is a free country, and you stand up for your own rights. And when somebody shoves you, you shove them back. Yeah, but he's pretty big and mean. Who is this kid? Johnny Hoffman. He's the guy that puts little Sammy Mitchell off his roof and broke his leg. They say if he gets in any more trouble, he's going back to reform school. Ken, there's something you've got to understand. You're going to meet a lot bigger bullies in your lifetime than Johnny Hoffman. I am? Yes. And you want me to tell you something? All bullies, deep down inside, are cowards. You punch them in the mouth and they'll run home crying. You sure? Doug and me have been working on the racer for almost two weeks. We're working real hard on this, because we hope my dad will let us center it in the downtown soapbox derby. Who is it? Me! That's Sherman. Wow, what are you building? Eraser, don't touch it. Sherman's the dumb little kid that lives across the street. He always follows us around. The minute he touches something, it breaks. What's it for? We're gonna race it down Airplane Hill. Wow! Vroom, vroom, vroom! Can you bring me that rope? Anything under 25 yards, Doug and me are deadly with dirt clots. Hey, wow. What is it? Look. Does it work? I don't know. Okay, close your eyes and put your hand in here. There's no candy in here. sure got guts. I was scared and Sherman's dad didn't even point at me. He really likes to act tough with parents. What do you want? Are you the one who put the mouse trap on Sherman's fingers? No comment. Okay, Sherman. I want you to hit him as hard as you want. And you? Don't move. You mean I can't hit him as hard as I want? And he won't hit me back? You most certainly can. 
And you'd better not move a muscle. He told me later this really hurt. That didn't even hurt a bit. You know, sometimes ideas just don't seem as good when you gotta try them out. Hi, Kitty. Hi. How you doing? All right. Want a donut? Okay. That's Doug's dad. Big Doug. He's in the Secret Service, and he wears a big gun. He's a real nice guy, but sometimes he's a little too funny. I remember once when he locked me up in these handcuffs. And that's the way handcuffs work. Okay, now take them off. Oh, yeah. Damn, I must have left the key in the office. <laughs> <laughs> what have you guys been up to? Oh, Kitty crashed the racer on Airplane Hill. <gasps> <laughs> Say, Kenny, I uh, got a new trick for you. Don't do it. Put your hands out flat, palms down. Don't do it. Now hold these right on there. Don't let them fall. Don't let them fall. Oh, I, uh, I gotta turn my iron off. Here, get him off. Mm-mm. Hey, come on. Don't move or I'll blow your hands off. Don't do it, you'll hit me. You don't have to Please, worry no, about a no, thing. Look, I've don't. done this a thousand no, times. No, don't. Bam! That's Mr. Donovan. He's the best teacher I've ever had. He calls that guy Speedy Gonzalez. He's the dumbest kid in the class. All the other teachers in the school gave up on him. Not Mr. Donovan. I'm making a bear mask for Halloween. Doug's been helping me. I'm making the head, and he's responsible for the snout. Only he calls it Snazola. He's real proud of it. Hey, how do you like that snaz? <laughs> That's Marcy. I've been in love with her for two years now. And I don't even think she knows who I am. Hey, watch this. Hey, I don't 
told me that Pedro put a whole piece of notebook paper in his mouth that the lunch belly's gonna fire it at you because of what you did to him last week. Told him I was sorry. Don't matter. That's Pedro. I don't even remember his real name. Ever since first grade when somebody just called him Pedro. Even his mom calls him that. supposed to die. Somehow I lived. He never says nothing. He just stands around looking at things. Heck, he seems like a nice guy to me. I think he's crazy. He's a nice guy. I'll show you somebody who's crazy. That's her in the window. Miss Walker? Yep. She's crazy. Peter Palmer says she's got a shotgun loaded with rock salt next to her bed. If she catches it, she'll shoot. And you know what rock salt does. What? You ever get salt in the cut? Yeah, it stings. Yo, yeah, well, how'd you like big chunks stuck in your butt? Doug says we're gonna run through our house on Halloween. Hi, Mom. How's school? Me and Doug are almost finished with the bear mask. Doug and I. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna take Bob out on the grass. Be careful. He hasn't been feeling too well lately. Come on, Phyllis. You feel better. You get some fresh air. God, the clouds are huge. You know, I bet if someone could measure the size of one of those big clouds, they could figure out how big the sky is. Yep. Yeah. You see who this one looks like when I finish it. <laughs> <laughs> and we really want to do something good for Halloween, since it was only three days off. So we started testing an idea. What are we 
going to name him? Otis. the body. George, don't run over his head. <laughs> All right. Hey, here goes another. Oh my God, I hit him. <laughs> it's only a dummy. You goddamn drunk. Anybody want Otis? Like Dad's hat. Come on. We want it back. I told you he had guts. You better get out of here or I'll call my husband. What could we do? Why would she want Otis? Hey, what are we going to do? Ha, 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 Widow Halloween won't fix you. Yeah, Widow Halloween will fix your ass. You two, hold it right there. Hey, what have you two kids been doing? Oh, nothing.
boy. Today's the day. I'm gonna tell Marcy that I really like her. Hey, what if she likes me? Boy, that'd be bitching. Going steady with Marcy, my life'd be great. What if she doesn't like me, though? We gotta go over and eat with her. With girls? Hey, she's looking at you. She is? Darn it, don't do that. It scares the heck out of me. <laughs> That's Pudwell. Hmm, <laughs> chocolate. <laughs> That guy's always throwing stuff. You ought to go beat him up. I chose him off last year. We were going to fight in the alley, but he never should. Hey, Marcy's looking at you. No, she's not. Really, she is. Look. chance at lunch and I blew it. Marcy came walking out of the cafeteria and I was standing right there. She looked at me and smiled and I didn't do nothing. I sure am a dummy. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Mr. Donovan, can I go to the bathroom? Sure, Kenny. Sure is fun being out of class. I think I'll go bug Sherman. That's weird. I don't see Sherman. Maybe he's sick or something. the benches and some guy shoved me into him. Oh, Sherman. Mr. D always skips his recess to play football with us. He sure is good. He takes all the lousy guys on his team. He beats us every time. Hey! Hey! All right. Okay, let's show some enthusiasm. Get up there. Come on, come on. All right, Pudwell, get it together, would you? All right. Signal set. Hut one, hut two. <laughs> oh! Hey. I got No you. way! I got you. No! <laughs> must have lost his money. I know my dad said you're supposed to stand up for your rights. But what about other people? I know two guys ganging up on Sherman ain't fair, but... Why should I risk my neck for dumb old Sherman?
Dad's right, though. I can't just turn my back on him. Maybe if I really beat up on Pudwell, Johnny Hoffman will get scared. He was beating up Sherman. Dad told me that if I punched him in the nose, he'd run home crying. Because all boys are cowards. Dad was wrong. Honey, I don't want to say anything against your dad. But he does get carried away sometimes. He thinks the only way to solve some problems is by punching somebody in the mouth. Sometimes he's right. But there are other ways to get out of a sticky situation. Like what? Use your head. You're smarter than Johnny Hoffman. And he's bigger than you are. So don't fight him on his terms. Fight him on your own. Like how? Think about it. Johnny Hoffman. Uh, hi, Ken. Hi, Dad. Oh, Sherman. What you two been up to? How come you're home so early? Well, we're gonna go out in about an hour. Got to take Bob to the vet. Where'd you get that? It was sitting in that dumb old lady's trash can. Look what else I found. Wow, a cherry bomb. Yep. Got any matches? Yeah, still some out of the kitchen. Let's put it in another trash can. Boom, we'll go up in the air. Yeah, boom, right up in the air. Sure, consider. So, if they can't stand up for themselves or they need help, sure. Why? Well, I tried to stop two guys from beating up Sherman and got beat up myself. Dumb old Sherman ran away and left me. That's too bad. Did you get hurt? Not much. But what did I prove? A lot. You proved that you weren't afraid to help a friend who was in trouble. Dumb old Sherman's not my friend. No, but he's a person who needed help, and you gave him help. Not enough people in this world care enough to become involved and stop injustice. I'm proud of you, Ken. Ken. We've got another problem. Mom took Bob to the vet this morning. Very sick. I'm afraid we're going to have to put him to sleep. Yeah, he needs a lot of that lately. No, I don't mean that. When you put something to sleep, a doctor gives it an injection of chemical so that it can die painlessly. Die? Bob's real sick. We'll stop his suffering. You mean kill him? Kill Bob? No, he's 
It's gonna die anyway. But that's murder! Don't be foolish, Ken. Bob is a dog. Yeah, but he might get well. This is the best thing for him. I'm not gonna let you. Look, uh, Ken. Everybody's got to die sometime. I know you don't understand that. But I love Bob just as much as you do. There's nothing we can do. You ought to stay home. I'm going. You guys just aren't consistent enough on defense. You're not putting out. Football is a man's game. You can't be worried about every little bruise that you get here and there. Did you hear what happened to him? Now, Thursday, we're going to practice defense. And I want you all to study the 85 series and the goal line defenses that I gave you. OK? OK. Tonight, Doug's father, Big Doug, is going to tell us about the Secret Service. Well, the Secret Service is a division of the Treasury Department. Our most important job is to protect the President and his family, the President-elect when there is one, and the Vice President when he asks us. You got a question? Yeah, can we see your gun, please? Sure. Sure, you can see my gun. Our second most important job is the detection and apprehension of counterfeiters. And uh, well, that'll be enough of that. Now, uh, as I was saying, Hey, um, as long as I'm showing you my stuff, why don't I show you how these work? Uh, Mr. Soupy, would you like to help me demonstrate?
And let's go over here. And that's the way handcuffs work. Hey, oh, oh, oh yeah, sure. Damn, I must have left the key in the office. <laughs> Kenny, Marcy, can I speak with you for a minute? I have a favor to ask you two today. We have a, we have a visitor in school today who speaks no English. So I'd like you two to take charge of him and escort him around the school, introducing him to some of your friends. Paco? This is Kenny, and this is Marcy. Now, Kenny and Marcy are gonna take you around school and show you what's happening, okay? Okay, I'm gonna say something to her. What city did you come from, Paco? Enchilada? I don't think he understands. Hey, Paco, we're gonna go teach him how to play basketball. What can I say? What can I say? Kenny? Yeah? Do you like me? Why, sure. Because you're always staring at me with this weird look on your face. Holy shit! What can I say? I, uh, I just like to look at you. Why? Well, I, I guess because I really like you. Oh, no. Now you did it. She knows. I like you, too. You do? Mm-hmm. Wow. Shoot, Baku. Well, Paco, how'd you like recess? Asshole!
spaceship. Out of what? Plywood. There it is. Wow. But how's it going to fly? With these. Kenny's got it all figured out. Hey, is the door locked? Yeah, why? I got something to show you. Holy jeez. <laughs> Where'd you get it? I stole it from my dad. If I get caught, he'll murder me. Boy, I sure like naked girls. You know, you have to be naked to have babies. How are babies made? I never could figure that one out. It's simple. First, you go to the store and get some special pills. And then you get a girl. And then you go home and get nude. And then you put a pill in your mouth and you spit it down her throat while you're kissing her. And then it goes into her stomach and grows into a baby. <laughs> you're crazy. Well, how do you do it then? My brother says you just screw them. The girl? Yeah. With the screwdriver? No, no, no. Well, how? Beats me. He never told me how. He says you just screw them. Why don't you go get Marcy and try it? <laughs> Are you kidding? I wouldn't do that to Marcy. Has the insurance bill come yet? Mm hmm I already paid it. Oh. Hey, Mom, what's insurance for? Well, the kind of insurance he's talking about is called life insurance. If your dad dies, it provides us with enough money to go on living. Yeah. What happens when you die? What do you mean, Kenny? What happens when you die? Like, what happened to Bob? Well, nobody really knows the answer to that question. When the body stops living, what happens to the, to the mind, to the spirit? Some people believe that you go to heaven live with God, and others think that, you know, this is all there is. When it's over, it's all over. What do you think? Well, I, I really don't know, Ken. Mr. Brink. Hello. Can I ask you a question, Mr. Brink? Sure, Katie. What happens when you die? Well, I never believed in a hereafter. I've always felt your heavens on earth. Death is an ending. So I just live each day as best I can. I should go tomorrow. I 
won't be bitter. Because I know I've had a good life. Besides, I've got kids that'll keep on living. And they're part of me. You kind of understand what I mean? Trying to. That's all you can do. See you later. What are you building? A hand grenade. Looks more like a potato. I got it disguised. See, I ain't no good at art. I can't cut, paste, or do sculpture. But I make good hand grenades. See, if you leave an air bubble in the clay, when they fire it in the kill, it'll blow up. So, I make a hollow hand grenade, disguise it as a potato so Mr. D won't know, and I blow the shit out of everybody's projects. So you're wasting your time on that, because it's just going to get blown to smithereens. to kill that Johnny Hoffman. Yeah, me too. I'd like to stick his head in the toilet and flush it down till he was drowned it. And I'd like to cut off all his fingers and jam him up his nose. Costume done yet? Just about. Wow! when you die. Your life's over. But if you have kids, then it's better. Why? Because they live on, I guess. You're dead. I don't know. I thought you went to heaven. I don't know. Ha <laughs> 
Why don't you get him a basketball? He's too uncoordinated. How about one of these? Nah, he's too geefy. Oh, why don't you get him some roller skates? Too clumsy. You could get him a baseball bat. Yeah. I could use this on Johnny Hoffman. Yeah. Hey, Baby Beans. How about Miss Betty Bongos? How about Fran? Bigger than he is. Woo! It's about his speed. <laughs> hey, how about this? You're crazy. Hey, look at these! Come on. Have a good time. Mind your manners and no fights, okay? Yeah, okay. out of there. What are you two doing here? Sherman invited us. Well, gotta wear these. Where is he? He's out back. Class, I have a few announcements. Uh, first of all, the principal has asked me to read uh, off a list of don't do's for tonight. Number one, travel in groups of three or more and try to bring along a parent. Number two, do not enter anyone's house. Number three, do not eat any candy which is not wrapped in a package. Be especially careful of candy apples and popcorn balls because people have been known to put razor blades and rat poison in them. <clears throat> I have uh, one other announcement. Unfortunately, one of our ceramics must have exploded because everything in the kiln was destroyed when I opened it this morning. I sure hope my mom lets me go out tonight after she reads this. A D in handwriting. Is she gonna be mad? 
God, I hope Mr. Donovan doesn't flunk me. You got some money for me. Oh, hi, Johnny. I didn't see you. You got some money for me? I only got a quarter. Let's see it. Johnny got chicken today, huh? Yeah, but I think I got it figured out. Just gotta be clever. See, if you don't have muscles, you gotta have brains. Yeah, well, Sherman doesn't have either, so where's that leave him? Oh! <laughs> Two more hours. I can't wait that long. Your costume done yet? I've already tried it now twice. You gonna tell us what it is yet? Nope, it's a secret. You'll see. Yeah, well, you're not going with us. Oh, yes, I am. Please? You sure, but your shoes are on backwards. Darn, I always forget. Yeah, I know we can do till it gets dark. It's a phone trick. Sherman, go get your dad's tape recorder. Oh, oh. You want to go trick or treat with us or not? That's great, Doug. You sure sounded old. Come on over to the sink. Sherman, get an apple out of the refrigerator. Okay. When I point to you, Sherman, scream as loud as you can into the mic. Okay. Get a picture of these two. Trigger! 
or tree. Oh, my. What have we here? A scout, a penguin, and a pig. I'm a bear. Oh. Wow, flicks. Uh, Ma'am, could I have another? My brother's sick at home. He couldn't make it tonight. Well, sure. Johnny Hoppin' in Pudwell. Let's get out of here. Let's watch. Doug, did you bring any pellets? Sure did. Load them up. All right. What are they doing? The old burning doggy bag trick. See, they fill a bag full of doggy crap, put it on somebody's porch, light it on fire, and ring the doorbell. And <laughs> the guy opens the door and dumps it out. <laughs> How many pumps should I give it? What do you think? Well, one stings, three times really hurts, and five will break the skin. Four. should I give it?
You were a goner. Yeah, but you shot that thing right in the butt. <laughs> One for you. And how is the little piggy wiggy? I'm a bear. You're a bear? Oh, I'm so sorry, dear. Uh, Meryl, could I have an extra one? My brother's sick and he couldn't make it tonight. Get out of here. Real good, Sherman. I don't think I want a trick or treat anymore. Hey, there's one more thing we gotta do. There it is. Mrs. Walker's house? The crazy lady? Yep. We're gonna run through it. Oh, no, we're not. Come on. Mrs. Walker! Mrs. Walker! Let's get out of here! What is it? Must be an ashtray. She shot her shotgun and just about blew Kenny's head off. I think she thought he was a real pig. Then we just took off running as fast as we could. That was really funny what you did to Johnny Hoffman last night. <laughs> He's going to get you after school. <laughs> good luck. Now you're in trouble. Yeah. 
My brother says broads are all alike. You gonna eat anything? Mm. Want an apple? All right. They're two-faced. They'll lie and cheat you whenever they get a chance. I know what you mean. What are we gonna do about Johnny Hoffman? I was thinking we could get all the ramp together and mug his butt. They're scared of him. Yeah. I think I gotta use the plan. All right. Just gotta get him with my brains. Let's go get Sherman. playing sissy two square because i'm good look i need your help johnny hoffman's gonna get me after school today <laughs> nope no way forget it now here's a dime don't lose it i'm dependent on you out of his desk. Johnny's right over here, and he's gonna pound your head in. <laughs> it is a fight. Hey Johnny, what do you say we'd be friends? Well, in that case...
going on here? Ossifer, Johnny Hoffman tied the door to Mrs. Walker's house, and he's in there beating her up. We'll take care of it. Hoffman, huh? I'll check this out. You going around the side. Mrs. Walker! Right there. Doug Carter, Secret Service. Okay. What's going on here, Doug? We were just seeing what was going on. I think that's your man. I'll see you guys later. Are you gonna be mad? Heck no. I told him all about your plan last night. He says you're getting to be just about as funny as he is. Johnny Hoffman comes back. We'll get him. I guess there's always going to be a Johnny Hoffman.
that's the way handcuffs work. 